Hey everybody, welcome back to another random Unity video. Today I'm going to be talking about another random generation thing that I've done, but I did it a little bit differently. Instead of doing it inside of a volume, I've done it on a plane, a circle in a plane. The Z will always be the same, but it's got some leeway on the X and Y plane. And it's also based off of percentage, so it's not just randomly grabbing something, it's randomly grabbing something and then based off of percentage, there should be like 80% of one thing versus 20% of another thing, or uh, I can split it up even more. But right now I only have two things. So right here you can see one of my scenes, this is for a game called Propulsion, which is in development right now. Uh, we'll have an alpha out soon, for now there's still a lot of development to be done. This is the project as of a few weeks ago. And uh, I guess I should show you kind of what happens when I press play. So this is the game. So you, you've got your little rocket, right? And then you've got stuff flying at you. And there's a couple different things. Uh, but they're randomly spread out, right? And we can see how this works if we kind of move over here, I can start the game, wait for a few things to spawn, alright, then if we actually pause it, you can see these things, looks like the spawn area is right here, ah. so you can kind of see that it's all spawning at the exact same Z point, but their X and Y values are completely random, pretty much. And that's because I'm spawning them randomly inside of a circle. And there are also 80% of these mine bomb things that are flying around, and the green spheres with particle systems are 20%. So you'll see a lot more of the bombs than you will the green things. It's really easy to do that percentage generation, um, but I think it's really cool. So this is another way that you can use random generation in games and tailor it to do whatever you really want it to do. And I can use the percentage re uh, generation to kind of change the difficulty of the game or just tweak a lot of settings if I need to balance stuff and it helps out a lot. I think that's about it for this script and this video so I'm gonna let you go. If you have any questions just comment down below and I'll get back to you and uh, I'll talk to you next time.